Hello, everyone. I'll give it a few more minutes before we get started. Okay. Can everybody hear me? Thumbs up. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, it is now six o'clock, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, for those of you who have never seen me around, or if you have seen me around, I don't know who I am. I'm Coach Lauren. Um, I help out with jumps class and the senior teams. Um, jumps are one of my favorite things, so uh, today we'll just do some drills, get everyone moving on this snowy evening. All right, so to start, um, I'll probably, since I'm kind of old, <laughs> I probably will get you guys started on some things. You won't see me finish out all the drills, but um, you might also see me playing with the camera. I'm in kind of a small area. I live a little far from the gym, so that's why you see me at home here. Um, but we're just gonna start with some uh, light exercises to warm our muscles up. Um, and then we'll do some stretches and then we'll get more into the into the drills. All right So to begin um, We're just going to do some forward lunges on each leg. We're just going to do five so uh, Whatever leg you prefer to start with um, Try and keep your hips nice and square and we're just going to do five on each leg. Okay, so one two three four, five. All right, other leg. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and now we're gonna do some side lunges. Um, we're gonna start, we're gonna do the same thing, five on each leg. So ready, we're gonna go out to the side like this. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and other leg. One, two, three, four, five. All right, just to kind of get those muscles moving. Um, next thing that we're gonna jump right into, um, this is a great drill. It's super easy. We're just going to do 10 T jumps. Um, by doing this, it allows us to one, practice sharp approaches to jumps. Um, and it allows us to really explode from our legs, making sure we're hitting a nice strong T. And it also helps with landings. When we land in jumps, we should be landing toe ball heel. So if you hear yourself kind of thumping on the ground, that is not the correct way to do it. We want to have nice soft landings um, to a to avoid injury, things like that. So um, I will start counting for you guys. Um, we'll do the approach one, clap two. Ready? So first one, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, jump, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Uh, good job, guys. It's a nice way to warm up muscles. A nice, easy drill. Really explode from those legs. Make sure when you guys are cleaning from those straight jumps, though, our arms are nice and glued to our sides. I was seeing a lot of people's arms bounce. Um, okay, so next thing, um, just to kind of stretch out our quad muscles, which is a really important muscle in jumps, um, just bring your heel to your butt. Try not to bring your leg out to the side here. Keep your hips nice and square. We're just gonna hold that for just a moment. All right, we'll do the other side. Remember, nice and square hips. Just kind of feel that stretch. You should feel that right in the front of your leg there. All right. Okay, so to finish kind of stretching out, um, yeah, I'm just gonna move my camera down a little bit. <laughs> um, let's get into a straddle. All right, one of the biggest thing um, when you're in a straddle, every time you stretch, um, I want you guys to focus on, first of all, pointed toes, straight legs, really try to widen your straddle as much as you can. Um, and I want your toes, if you're wearing sneakers, think of um, putting your shoelaces to the wall behind you. I want you to, every time you stretch in this position, try and focus on rolling your hips back. It gives a little bit of a different stretch um, and in the long run, it will kind of help you when you get to that point, um, rolling your hips back and your, and your toe touches or even your, even your sides. So uh, make sure everyone has pointed toes. Our knees are kind of rolled to the wall behind us and we're gonna um, stretch to the side. So arms up and down. We're gonna hold this for a second. Really trying to keep those, those knees back. All right, and up, and to the other side. Again, making sure we have pointed toes and we're trying really hard to roll our hips back so we get that different stretch. All right, and back up, and we're gonna go down to the middle. Um, with this stretch, do not let your feet roll forward. If you can't keep them rolled back, that's okay, but try really hard to at least keep your, your knees up. Don't let them collapse in when you're stretching. Okay, next we're gonna go into a pike stretch. Feet in front, toes pointed, arms up and reach to our toes. Try not to bounce with any of these stretches. Try and take some nice deep breaths. All right, and we're gonna pull up on our feet. Good, all right, and the last stretch we're gonna do we're going to do the butterfly. So try and bring your feet in as close as you can. Try and let those legs relax, kind of stretch out um, those little muscles in our hips that are so important for jumping. Good. All right, so we're gonna kind of jump into some of the drills now. Um, so why doesn't everybody get back into one of those nice pretty straddles we talked about, um, pointed toes, trying to keep our um, legs nice and wide, um, toes and uh, knees rolled back. Um, we're gonna, st you can start with either side, um, put your hands on either side and we're going to have our legs roll backwards, okay? Not forwards, not up and down. We're gonna do each side and then we'll do both of them together. So I'll kind of get you guys started and then I'll count out the rest for you. Um, we're gonna do 15. 
All right, so hands on each side of your leg. Really try to keep your chest up. Try not to lean too much. We really wanna engage those little tiny hip flexor muscles. All right, so ready? Remember, rolling backwards. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. All right. Let you guys kind of breathe for a second and then we'll get ready for the next side here. Hands on either side of our leg. Um, as we're doing these rotations, remember making sure our shoelaces are to the wall behind us, pointed toes. Um, good techniques in these drills will lead to good techniques in jumps, okay? And ready? This side, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. All right, if you need to kind of shake your legs out a little bit, we're gonna do the middle here. All right, so with the middle, really important, I want you guys to try and keep your hands right in front here. Try and keep those legs nice and wide. Don't let them collapse in as we start rotating. Um, and try not to lean back too much. With all the jumps that we do, we want our chest up nice and high. So let's try and keep it, Keep our chest up with this drill, okay? So again, I'll help get you started and then I'll count for you guys. So our hands nice and in front. Remember rotating back with our shoelaces to the wall behind us, pointed toes. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, good. All right, you can shake your legs out a little if you need to. Um, and then we'll move into the next drill here. So this next drill that we're gonna start on is I want you guys to start on your hands and knees and then I want you to put one leg out so this is another one, um, it's great. It kind of engages your core muscles as well as all those little tiny hip flexor muscles that we were talking about that are gonna really help um, heighten your jumps as well as, as those are strengthened, work on flexibility. Um, okay, so with this drill, I want you guys to make sure that you're staying right on top of your center. And by that, I mean, I don't want you to lean like this, all right? So making sure that our body and the leg that is down here is staying nice in a straight line. And what we're going to do with this drill is I'll kind of show you. I want you to keep your toes nice and pointed. And when I count, we're going to lift. Okay, we're going to do 10 of these on each leg. All right, is everyone ready? Here we go. And lift one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Really making sure that when we're lifting those legs and bringing it back down, we're controlling our leg on the way down as well as the way up. So don't let your legs slam into the ground. We want muscle control on the way up and the way down. Okay, so back to hands and knees. We're going to do the other leg here. Okay, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. It's another one of those drills for those little tiny muscles in our hips that we don't tend to use very often except for things like jumps for us cheerleaders. Um, okay, so the next um, set of drills we're going to go into are all um, standing. So make sure you guys have enough room. I'll just move my camera up a little bit. All right, so as I kind of touched upon earlier, 
Um, every time we do jumps, especially with drills, I want you guys to have your chest up nice and high. Um, and when I say a T, I want a nice, strong T. And when we do anything where we're lifting our legs, try not to let your T drop or anything like that, okay? So um, we're gonna do some nice and controlled leg lifts on each side, hitting that nice T motion. So everybody hit a T. We're gonna start with one leg, um, and we're gonna do 10 of those. So nice and controlled on the way up, nice and controlled on the way down. So ready, go, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Really remembering those nice strong T's. We want our leg to come up behind our arm. Nice pointed toes. All right. And everybody hit a nice strong T. We're going to do the other side. Ready and go. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job, guys. Um, next, we're gonna stay standing, um, and we're gonna do five of this drill on each leg, and this drill is, again, we're gonna be in a nice strong T. I'm gonna count five, six, seven, eight, and I want you to hold your leg, one, two, three, four, down five, okay? I just want, this will just kind of help engage that muscle for a little bit longer. It's a great workout. Again, pointing our toes, trying to keep our leg behind our arms, not using our arms to hold our leg. I really want you guys to try and use those muscles in your leg to keep them engaged. All right, so we're gonna start. Nice strong T, whichever leg you wanna start with, and we're gonna do five. So ready, five, six, seven, eight, up. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Nice strong T again. We got four more of those. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Three more on that side. Ready? Hit a nice strong T, chest up. Try and hold that T when your leg is up, remember. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, down five. Good. Two more. Nice strong T's. Ready, five, six, seven, eight. Kick one, two, three, four, down five. Good. All right, and we're gonna do one more on that side and then we'll switch to the other side. So ready, nice strong T. And five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, down five. Good. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side here. So nice, strong T. Remember, don't let those arms dip. No matter what we're doing, even if your leg is only getting to here, I want you guys to always focus on that good chest and arm technique. Those are very important on um, score sheets, okay? So nice, strong T's, and we're gonna do the other leg. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, clean, five. Good, we got four more on that side. Ready? Hit a T. And five, six, seven, eight. Kick one, two, three, four, down five. Good. Three more, ready? Nice strong T. And five, six, seven, eight. Kick one, two, three, four, down five. Good. Two more. Nice T's. And five, six, seven, eight. Kick one, two, three, four, down five. Good. One more. T, here we go, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, down five. Good, really making sure we keep, try and keep those legs that we, we have up in the air nice and straight. Our toe is always pointed. Um, the next drill that we're gonna do, we're still a standing one. Um, this one is gonna be nice controlled kicks, but instead we're gonna hit a candlestick motion like you would in a pipe jump. And we're gonna do 10 leg lifts. So we're gonna go one, two, all right, nice pointed toes, straight legs. So we're gonna do 10 of those. Ready? And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, really making sure the whole time we're doing those, we're holding that candlestick motion. So we want to make sure our arms are level. All right, don't let it creep up here. Okay, we're going to do the other leg, candlestick motion. And we're going to do some more controlled kicks, not letting our legs slam down to the ground like this, okay? Try and really engage that muscle the whole entire time you're bringing your leg up and you're bringing it down. All right, ready? Candlestick motion and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Just really remember to keep those legs straight. Okay, so this next one is um, still one of the drills where we want to have a nice strong T. It's similar to one that we've already done, but instead of the nice controlled kicks, I want sharp kicks. So um, I'm going to count five, six, seven, eight, and I want you to snap one. Okay, really fast, keeping your legs straight, that nice T motion, pointed toes. If you can, really try and roll that hip back like we were talking about when we were stretching. So shoelaces to the back wall. Okay, so we're gonna do five of those on each leg. Nice sharp kicks, all right? So everybody hit a nice T. And five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Ready? Again, five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Good, don't let those T's fly around, all right? Really focus on those nice strong T's. Three more on that leg. Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Good, and make sure we're snapping our legs together, okay? Two more. Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Good, one more on that side. Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Good, and we're gonna go to the other side, so keeping that nice strong T. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Good, four more. Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Three more. Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Make sure your uh, T's are nice and level, okay? Some are a little higher than I'm seeing. Nice and strong. Two more on that leg. Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Good. One more. Five, six, seven, eight, kick one. Awesome. All right. So we have just under 10 minutes left. So while we're doing that, um, those are all really, really good drills to practice at home if you have the space. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of um, conditioning, and then if we have time at the end, we'll work on some splits, and I'll give you some jump homework if you have the space for it. All right, so for the first um, drill that we're gonna be doing, I want everybody to get on their backs. And I'm in a kind of a small area, so I don't have a lot of room to do this. So mine might look a little funny, but essentially, everybody on your back. And I want our legs up nice and straight, pointed toes. We're gonna do 10 of these, okay? And so this is what I want it to look like. I want us to snap our legs down, pointed toes. This is a good, good way to stretch our hips out, all right? We're gonna do 10, okay? Ready, go. Snap one, back together. Snap two, back together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, so similar to that, we're going to do another drill um, lying on our backs. Um, this one, sorry, I gotta move where I have more room here. So I want everybody to start on their back again. This one's good because um, we're gonna keep our legs together nice and tight and it will help with um, ab strength as well. So this kind of engages leg and ab muscles. All right, you're gonna do your legs up and 10 times we're gonna drop, bring them back up. Trying not to let your back come off the ground. So you don't want your back to arch. All right, ready? Here we go, 10 of those. 
One, two, nice and controlled. Don't let your legs hit the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to do another drill on our back as well. Um, this one's another good one. So again, if you need to breathe for a second, go ahead and do that. Kind of catch our breath here. All right. Legs back up, except this time, we're going to use our arms. And we're going to do 20 of these. We're going to go one, two, all right? Trying to touch our toes, okay? But I, want, I don't want anybody's legs to leave this nice vertical position, okay? Remember, nice pointed toes too. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, guys. All right, so we have like five more minutes left. So um, let's do some splits. All right, so we're going to start. Let's start with our left leg. I want you to put your knee up and kind of, I want you all to make sure that your hips aren't doing this. So kind of keep them nice and square. Stretch out a little bit here. Okay, and now we're gonna kind of push back, making sure that our um, leg that is on the ground right here, that toe is nice and flat on the ground. So shoelace is down if you're wearing sneakers. All right, and take a nice deep breath and slide down into your split. Remember, keeping those hips nice and square. Don't let them turn out. We're gonna hold that. Really try not to bounce with this stretch either. If you're not all the way down, that is okay. Nice deep breaths. Good. All right, we're gonna start with our right leg. Same thing. Knee up, making sure that the leg behind is nice and straight with our bodies. You don't want it kind of out to the side like this. And really kind of lean into that knee, but keeping that knee at a 90 degree angle. And rock back, straight leg. All right, and a nice deep breath and slide down. Keeping our hips nice and square. Nice deep breaths. Good. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, a frog stretch. So with the, with the frog stretch, um, I really want you to make sure like you guys aren't letting your, your hips lean back. I want you to really stay on top of your hips, okay, when you go down into this stretch. All right, we're gonna hold this stretch, take some deep breaths. I, I'm, I keep saying deep breaths because when you're stretching like this, um, the more you can relax those muscles, um, the less tense you'll be and the more flexibility you will gain. So always think of that when you're stretching, take some nice deep breaths to try and relax. Okay, and you can slide into your middle split. We're gonna hold that for a little bit. All right, really remember taking those nice deep breaths. Pointed toes. Good job. Okay, so we're 
just about out of time, but before we go, first of all, good job, everyone. I know that this is, it's a crazy world right now, but it's great that you're staying active. Um, so I hope you all stay safe and healthy during this time. You have a snow day tomorrow, snow day. <laughs> um, but I just wanna say, so I know that we didn't actually do any jumps during this session, but um, if you have the room and it's safe and you're not gonna hit anything or hurt yourself, um, if you're on one of the teams, I would practice three times through your jump sequence after we get off the meeting because you're all nice and stretched out and conditioned. Um, and anything else if you wanna work on like double jumps, that sort of thing. But just promise me if you're gonna work on jumps after this, you're keeping your chest up nice and tall. You're making sure you're hitting the proper motions and you have pointed toes. It's not always about having the highest legs. It's about the best technique, okay? You guys did an awesome job. Um, and hopefully I will see you again in another jumps class. All right, good job, everyone. <laughs>